Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about this thing. The You Can Be Molten Rock Heat. And you guys know exactly what this is duping, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna review it today. I got it yesterday and I'm gonna show you how it arrived. It came in this plastic bag with no bubble wrap, no nothing. She came in that plastic bag and she has a slip. So you pull this out. And I saw a video, and now I can't remember the YouTuber's name. I will list it below. I believe it's Alicia K. Something, something. I'll list it below. But she had showed this, and I got it on Amazon. It was eight dollars and change, like eight fifty or eight sixty. And her review looked really good. The colors, the shades, everything looked really good. So I thought, for eight fifty, I'm gonna try it. So it's a magnetic, a cardboard package, and it does have a little slip in it, which you know what we're gonna do with that. And it did come with a brush, but to have not had any kind of protection in the package, I'm surprised these arrived intact. I mean, seriously, I have got makeup that's in boxes or even makeup that's bubble wrapped and it's still just shattered to pieces. But this one, actually, I, I'm very surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised. It came with a brush. So let's check out the brush. Sometimes I do use the brushes that come with the... Um, palettes which way is it there we go and it's got just a kind of a finer tip there it's very soft and then more of a packer shader brush there again this is more dense this one is very flimsy I don't know if you guys can see that yeah very very flimsy on that side but this side's very um, it's a lot more stiff so we may try that we may not my face is pretty much already done so all we have to do is eyes and i'm going to be using the elf my you know my usual my elf and my brows are not done so we'll get to that I do have to go to work today, but it's not until this evening. I was supposed to have the day off. But they caught me before I... <laughs> well, actually, they got me um, first of my shift uh, Sunday and asked if I wanted to work today, which was supposed to be a day off. And since uh, Christmas is coming up and, you know, I need the more need more hours. I'm just going to set that primer with my Rimmel Stay Mattes. And just going to pat that down. Just like so. Alright, I meant to bring a makeup wipe in here, and of course, I forgot. I need to buy a little pack and keep in my drawer. Alright, so we're going to do, I'll do some swatches. Alright, there's the first two shades, and I've got my watch on. So there's the first two. And so let me dampen my towel here so I can wipe my fingers off on it. Okay. Dampen them, dry them off. And there's the next two. Dry my fingers off, make sure they're dry. There's the next two. Dry my fingers off again. So two, four, six. All right. 
right, I'm gonna go on this side now. I mean, they're not bad, but just like the Naked Heat palette, um, to me, a lot of the shades are very similar to each other. Dry my fingertips off again, and two, four, six, eight. So I'm on these. These are mattes. Those actually are fantastic. Look at that. Okay, and then the last two. I'm going to just put right there. So pigmentation is not bad as far as swatches. They actually look pretty good. So I'm going to come in with that big fluffy brush that I always use. And I'm going to go in with this. Since I've already laid down a face powder that's similar to that, I'm going to go in with the next shade. Kick up is not bad. I mean, there's a little, but it's not as bad as I've seen some shadows. And I'm just very lightly feathering that on. It looks good so far. Yeah, I mean, that's hmm. I'm not mad. All right, I'm going to come in with that smaller wet and wild brush and think this one, it's a matte. I'm going to do a little bit of that. And guys, I will link this down below. Um, since it does not have the, like, the real palette's name on it, it's not technically a, um, I guess technically... This so doesn't have the Urban Decay blah 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 on it. It's not considered a replica, even though it is an exact dupe. You know what I'm saying? It has the You Can Be name on it, and it's not the same um, as like Urban Heat. It's Molten Rock Heat, so I don't think... Um, I don't know if my video would get taken down if I put the link to that or not. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I know if you do replicas, like an ex uh, actual fake, and it says Naked Heat um, on it, yeah, that's that's a replica. Your video can get taken down for that. Um, but I know if you just go into Amazon and probably, you know, put in search, you can be Molten Rock Heat. You're going to find it. And there were a couple different... Prices I found this one was eight. I seen it up to ten something. So just search around on Amazon and look at the different prices. But yeah, it's on Amazon. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Look, I got a new one. Look, it's a new little Wet and Wild. This is the shadow brush. Um, I'm gonna come in with this darkest shimmer shade. This one's a matte. This one's a shimmer. I'm going in with that darkest shimmer. Just very lightly touching in. But you can see. Now I'm just going to start that out here in the corner. And just kind of staying right in that crease. Well, I'm liking this little brush. I'll have to buy some more of these for a dollar. So far, I'm liking everything about it. I mean, um, Makeup Revolution pretty much dupes a lot of palettes and just uh, it's the same kind of layout, the same color scheme. They just change 
Um, they have their packaging and their name. I'm not going to name what palettes, but you guys know exactly which ones I'm talking about. Um, I'm just going to blend that crease right there where I put that color. But yeah, so far you guys can see it has some great pigmentation. It's blending nicely. Um, no fallout, really. I have just a few little specks right there which we can brush away. But yeah, I'm gonna wipe that little wet wild brush off again. A little bit of fallout in the palette, but nothing bad. I'm gonna come in with this one. And I'm gonna put that right in the center of the lid. This is almost like a halo eye. And I may wet that, but I want to see how it done dry first. Okay, I'm going to wipe that brush off again. So far, this is what we have. And I'm going to come in with this lightest shade for brow bone. It does need a little bit of lightening up since okay again blending brush I'm just gonna blend those edges nice very nice actually this is that angled liner brush that I got from TJ Maxx and I'm gonna come in with the lid shade first and just, we're gonna tuck that right up under the lash line and I'm only going about two-thirds of the way over Bringing that all the way up to the top and then with a pencil brush if I can find it if I can't find it then we're just to do something different <laughs> pencil brush hey I'm gonna come in with that darkest color we used and just tuck that right under the corner And of course, there's a hair in my way. I tell you, if you have hair that's not straight and it's not curly, but it has just enough little bit of curl to aggravate the crap out of you, that's what I have. <laughs> Is that my hair has just enough curl in it to aggravate the crap out of me. And this is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm just barely lightly going along that lash line. And then thickening, thickening, thickening it up a little at the corner. Very pretty. I'm going to show you like how the palette looks. I did blow a little bit of it off, but there's... A little kick up nothing major um, it's not like falling all over the palette but yeah that's that's a good little palette for eight dollars I'm not not mad at it <laughs> so I'm just gonna kick away any of that fallout see what I'm saying look see that yeah um, brows and lashes. I'm going to take that MAC pencil that we got in the Boxy Charms, the little MAC. And I am going to do a little bit on my brows today. Just going to fill in that bald spot. And make my 
my tail a little more to thongs. See, this tail's a little bit thicker than this tail. I don't usually worry about it, but. Today we're gonna make them match a little better. Whoops, meow. Your fingers and eraser. Okay. I'm trying not to get these swatches all over my own white shirts. <laughs> spooling just to soften it up there at the front next control freak you know what I'm gonna get I will break down one day and go get me a tinted gel I've been wanting to try a tinted gel just to see how that does and of course, I put all of my compacts in the drawer because I cleaned up. I tried to clean up. Now there's a mess again. If you're wondering what is on my face, it is the e.l.f. Um, Tinted Moisturizer, the Clinique Invisible Blend Powder, and the Milani um, XL Bronzer. That's, that's all that's on my face right now. So, Come on, hair. Get out of the way. And this, of course, is the... Um, Voluminous black. I think it's about time for a new tube. This one's getting kind of clumpy. We can't have clumpy lashes. I think I got a little bit right there again, but you know, it's an easy fix, no big deal. That is the finished eye look. Very pretty. That's a good palette to have for this autumn. Um, for lips, I'm going to grab because this is just sitting out here and I think it'll go. This is Cheeky from Wet n Wild. Uh, Wet n Wild. Elf. It's the Elf Moisturizing Lipstick. Let me get that right. Elf. And it is called Cheeky. She looks like that, and I'll swatch her right here. So that's the shade. I've been trying to get my lip, my actual lipsticks out and use them. Because I have a drawer full. I have a drawer full. Uh, when I worked at, I worked at Belks, and the ladies would switch out their, um, displays I got some then because they had like duplicates of lipsticks and they were told to just throw them away so yeah I got a bunch of lipsticks there I mean a bunch they were like um, Estee Lauder and Lancome Oh yeah, and I had the Fit Me Concealer. That's the concealer I have on, Fit Me Concealer. All right, guys, that is the finished look. My hair is up in a clip. Yeah, that is it. That's So if you want to save a little bit of money and you still want to have um, a palette that looks very much identical to the Urban Decay Naked Heat, this one is the You Can Be Molten Rock Heat. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's it. She's done great. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderf wonderful, wonderful day. Wonderful day. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe because there is a giveaway going. I will link. link I can't even talk today. I need another cup of coffee. That sounds good, actually. Yeah, there's a giveaway going from now until Halloween. I will draw the winner Halloween. So I will link that video down below in the description box with my Instagram handle and my um, Facebook page. So yeah, if you want to check any of that out, it'll be all down below. And I'll see you on the next one, guys.